Hello, how you doing today again? Welcome to another episode of Ubuntu and Open Source. So today I'm going to talk to you about my 23-inch Dell Optiplex 9010, all on one PC. The first thing I did was to see if it would power on, and yes, it worked. The next thing I did was to research the specifications. And what I found out is that it's a quad-core Intel i7-3770S running at 3.1 gigahertz. It has an integrated Intel HD Graphics 4000. It came with 4 gigabytes of DDR3. It had a 3.5 inch standard hard drive, no touch, no Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. The upgrades I did was to put a 512 gigabyte SSD in. I maxed the RAM out at 16 giga, gigabytes. I added a second Dell 23 inch LED monitor through the HDMI since both screens are uh, 12, 1920 by 81080. The rest of the system I chose to leave alone. Upgrading the touch screen would not have been cost effective and the process would be way too much since there's too many ribbon wires to worry about. There's like four or five ribbon wires you have to deal with. In addition to taking all the guts out to get down to the screen since everything works kind of from the back to the front. The CPU with the integrated graphics was already at the top of its limits for this system, so there was nothing to do there. Since I chose to use the Ethernet port, I had no need to upgrade to Wi-Fi or to Bluetooth. Bluetooth. But you can, in this system, you still can, if you choose to, to upgrade uh, the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth. It uses a laptop half-height uh WLAN Bluetooth card for laptops. So you can upgrade it if you want to. But I have no need to do that for this system. After all the hardware upgrades, I installed my elementary OS 5 Juno. Some of the things I did after post-install first thing I did was turn on the firewall. And the second thing I did was to run run the updates. Uh, next thing I did after that, since I ran it in a when this drawer hop and run, ran it on another PC uh, before I settled this desktop to be running elementary OS permanently is I enable PPA packages to be installed. And this is the command you have to run to run to run to install PPA packages. One of the PPA packages I installed was elementary tweaks. After getting the elementary tweaks installed, I went to my settings and it tweaks is where elementary tweaks shows up. One of the things I did was to come here to files and disable single click. So now everything is pretty much a double click. While I was in here, um, you can adjust the rows and the columns in the launcher. The maximum is nine here. Same here for the rows. So you can see you can actually increase the size of the launcher here. I like to keep it down to three. So this is how it looks 
when you launch it. Three rows and nine columns pretty much covers everything in a single uh, category. Office being the biggest one, I like to try out different Office applications, different Office suites. As you can see, I have Free Office from SoftMaker, LibreOffice. I like to have Master PDF Editor. I just like it. I mostly I use it for when I do my taxes. Only Office, which is open source. I like to have that in here. Planner came pre-installed. Uh, I installed Notes Up, which is a developer application. Uh, Project Libre, and then WPS Office. And with their latest update, you find that WPS for Linux has a PDF uh, viewer, as well as I really haven't tested it out yet, but you can see up here, not only will it view, but you may be able to, I haven't tried it yet, really haven't tried anything to do with it. Um, as far as, you know, adding comments and other things, selection highlight, copy, select all, oh, interesting. But, uh, so it looks like it's just a viewer. I don't see anything where I can critique any comments in a, in a spot. If there is, I do not know how to do it. I don't have a printer yet. But this is Master, uh, this is WPS Office with a PDF viewer, which, which is neat and cool for Linux OS to have some type of free PDF viewer. There's Boxit Reader. Adobe has pretty much cut out a PDF viewer and reader for Linux, but it's nice to see that there's other other options out there. I know lots of people like to stick to uh, open source um, I'm more of a FOSS, free and open source software, so I don't mind WPS Office having one. Installed Google Chrome, which once you download the, the Debian uh, file, Just right click and open an Eddy because now I've had the uh, Eddy, GUI Eddy, uh, dev package installer installed. Skype. Activate Nightlight. <laughs> yeah, to me, I feel it's better on the eyes. So, activating the Nightlight, all settings. Display, nightlight, and you just click it on. And I left it on. Uh, I just, and I just left everything else uh, standard. It will do the rest for you. Installed Synaptic. A lot of my favorite applications like LibreOffice, Audacious, Skimp, and many more. To install that, I did that in Terminal with sudo app install Synaptic. Um, just to give a view, a quick glimpse of the applications I like. 
There's GNOME Disk. That's disk right there. Blender, GIMP, Inkscape, Krita, Luminance HDR, Photo College, Royal Therapy, Scribus, Darktable. Cubic Torrent, lots of Office applications. Um, most of them you got to download. LibreOffice from the repositories. Boomaga. These come up when I install uh, my Google Chrome. These were already pre installed. Uh, that came up when I installed LibreOffice. Audacious, Kedian Live, Lightworks, Mobile Media Converter, Photo Film Strip, Simple Screen Recorder. This is how I'm getting this video to you. VLC Media Player. Eddie, that came from the App Center. G Parted. Synaptic Package Manager, and the rest all was already in there. So you see, I have a quite a list of applications I like to have on hand. Never know when you need anything. And then I themed my elementary us to look more elegant and beautiful with some themes and icons. Now this is also where tweaks elementary OS tweaks come in handy. Because it has this appearance tab. And after you install your themes, you can come to the GTK Plus. And this is where the theming change happens. So this is the stock elementary. Stock elementary icons. So this is how it normally looks. If I were to log out and log back in, but I can't, it would stop my recording. Um, let's go to files. Oh, even files currently is dark. I do prefer the dark, yes. Oh. That's how normally the... Uh, but the window buttons are. But you can see you have the windows like kind of environment for the buttons. The Ubuntu type setup for the layout window layouts. Mac OS only on the right, close only on the right, close only on the left, which is what its normal setup is. I like to have those three buttons right here along with this theme. I just recently put in uh, the Mac OS Lion icon theme. That stays there. And so that's how I tweaked and themed my Pantheon desktop environment. As you can see, not all the icons uh, when render, uh, like in applications or in tweaks, online accounts, date, time, and parental control. And so there you go. This is my post install of Elementary OS 5 Juno. Thank you.